Let's solve a really important question for paper three in A-level physics. But at the end of this video, you may have come across a brand new technique that will help you understand the subject matter better. So we have a wall that's connected to a heater and then this goes to a shower head. Water moves at constant speed through the pipe of the cross-sectional area of 7.5 times 10 power minus two to the shower head. The maximum mass of the water which flows per second is 0.07 kilograms per second. Show that the maximum speed of the water in the pipe is 0.9 meters per second. Anytime we're given density, it is just useful to write down the density is given by the mass divided by the volume. Now notice that we're given the maximum mass of water which flows per second. Now this here is an exam question hint which tells us to consider everything that happens in one second. Now if we have a cylindrical pipe, so let's imagine that we're looking at it from the side, so this here is like a cylindrical pipe, in one second the particles of the water are going to travel a certain distance. So let's say that the water kind of like starts here and then in one second it ends up towards the end of the pipe. And that's going to travel, let's say, a distance L in one second. So this will essentially be actually the speed of this. Uh, okay, well, density is mass over volume, and we have the mass. The volume is going to be given by the cross-sectional area A multiplied by this distance, which I've just called L. Okay. As I said, because we're looking for the speed, in one second, this is actually going to be the length because speed is just meters per second. So let's just rearrange for L. I'm gonna say that L is uh, gonna be M divided by A multiplied by the density. Our mass, our maximum mass per second is 0 0.070. Let's divide that by the area, which is 7.5 times 10 to the power of minus five and multiply that by the density, which is just 1000 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, well, if we were to put this into a calculator, we're going to get 0.93. Now, this here is actually speed because L is the distance traveled per second, and this is actually our answer. So, this here actually has the unit of meters per second. If it's a show question, it's always useful to include that extra significant figure um, because this will tell the examiner that you've done all your working out correctly. Okay, next one. The cross-sectional area of the holes in the shower head is one quarter that of the pipe. Calculate the maximum speed of the water as it leaves the shower head. Well, we can see here that the speed or the distance traveled per second is inversely proportional to the area. So if M and the density are constant, but if the area decreases by a quarter, the speed will increase by a factor of four. Therefore, our answer will just simply be 0.93 multiplied by 4, which is going to give me 3.73 meters per second. Actually, because all of our information is given up to two significant figures, let's just leave that up to two significant figures as well. So I'm just going to write 3.7. Next one, calculate the magnitude of the force caused by the accelerating water on the shower head. This is absolutely critical. We're going to use Newton's second law, which uh, remember the net force is going to be given by the rate of change of momentum. Well, this thing here will be given by the change in uh, both the mass and the velocity in one second. 
Okay, well, how much mass flows through the shower head in one second? We're already given that. It's uh, 0 0.070. And the speed has changed from 0 0.93 meters per second in the pipe up until 3.72, um, I think it was 3.72. So our change in speed will be given by the difference between those two numbers. So that's going to be 3.7 to take away 0.93 and notice that all of this happens in one second and if we put this um, into a calculator we're going to get 0.195 newtons okay next one draw on the figure the direction of the force um, well, if the fluid is going this way, then the shower head is going to experience a equal and opposite force, which is going to be um, opposite to the direction of the fluid. So this here will be the force F that is acting perpendicular to the uh, to the face of it and opposite to the direction of flow and that's why the shower head will kind of like move around because it's experiencing a force okay on to the next one the water enters the heater at a temperature of 14 degrees c at a maximum flow rate of 0 0.07 kilograms the water leaves the shower head at a certain temperature okay as soon as i ooh, what's happened here as soon as i see the change in temperature i'm pretty certain that i'm gonna have to use e is equal to mc delta the theta. There we go, calculate the rate of energy which is transferred to the water. Now the rate at which energy is transferred to the water is just given by the power and we're going to need to give a suitable unit for our answer. Okay, well power is just given by energy divided by time. So energy is just given by mc delta Theta divided by the time. So in one second, the change in mass is going to be 0 point, or the mass will be 0 0.070 uh, multiplied by the specific heat capacity, which is 4200. Multiply that by the change of temperature, which is because we're going uh, between 30 and 14, so it's going to be just 16 degrees, and all of this is going to happen in just one second. Okay, if we put this into a calculator, we are going to get around 4,704, let's call that 4,700, and the units are watts. Now, what you need to do next is have a look at an extremely common mistake that is very, very important for paper three and for experiments in A-level physics. This video is right over here. Good luck revising.